Now he is one ugly little mother. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5-2 Toys Mega Box Predator! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have the Predator. It is the Predator from 5-2 Toys, Predator! And on this side, Mega Box, and up top we have Predator, 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 Predator. On the bottom, words, things, warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, you just have some little schematic -y stuff going on here. You have things and stuff, more words, more things and stuff. If you want to read it, go ahead, read it. And you have a QR code, you want to scan it, go ahead, free scan on me, you're welcome. And of course, we have Sam Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Predator, another cool little figure from 5-2 Toys, part of their Mega Box line. Now this is one that I bought myself, I have a couple of these, so I thought I'd finally get down to reviewing the ones that I have purchased, because why not? Dare I say why not? They're cool, let's show them off, but yeah. We have little Predator here, had to get the Predator, because you know, he's just he's just cool, he's the Predator, and he's awesome, and look at him, he's just, little, he's just a little bundle of murder, look at him, oh. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at all the detail here. You can see the uh, the face mask here, done in a nice gunmetal gray. See the little targeting bits right there on the side of his head, done in red. Shoulder cannon, also nicely detailed, as well as the armor going down there. You can kind of see like the mesh right there. His bazillion ab muscles. Because Predator does not skip core day. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. You can see little arm blades there. I don't know. Some nice detail here. His big old feet. Oh, some nice detail here for a small figure. A little backpack going on there. You can see his dreadlocks. They do have some bits of gold in them. The dreadlocks are rubber. They'll move around for you. You don't have to worry about breaking them. Nice and rubbery. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. He can look up a little bit, can look down. That's all you get there. Um, again, you can move the shoulder cannon out of the way. You have a hinge here, a hinge here. Um, the cannon itself is on a ball joint at the base. You can move that all around. So you can pretty much have this positioned however you wish. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. The hands can open and close. The thumb does move. I don't know if it's supposed to move anymore because once I get to a certain point, I get stuck and I want to force it because I don't want to break it. But the thumb does wiggle a little bit. Don't know if it's supposed to move more than that. I'm afraid to try to force it. But anyway, he does have uh, waist rotation. If he moves his flaps out of the way, he has waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. Back that far outward he can do the full splits um you have rotation at that ball joint right up there 90 degrees of bend at the knee and as far as the feet they're on the ball joint they can move up down a lot you get ankle tiltage rotation and you even have a toe joint now as far as features with the main figure here um his little arm blades can extend they'll snap into place so you go so we can poke 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 you can do all kinds of that you can open up this piece here and you can see a little time bomb in there which is pretty cool that's just a sticker but still love that little piece of detail there that they added and you come back here you can slide this panel down you can see his uh kind of first aid kit here his little tools so you can patch himself up that's pretty cool. But not only that, you do get some accessories with this little guy. That's right. Um, you get this right here. Got like a suitcase for him. And this will incorporate into the box mode. You can see those symbols there molded onto it. So you get that. You also get this right here. It's a little transclearant orange piece. Right there, which you can plug 
Oh, it's was form. Write that like that. So you can check things out. You also get a little blast effect here on that transclear and orange. And you can plug that into the shoulder cannon here. You know what we can do? You know what we can do? We can do a a, a big old mini bloosh. It's a mini one. It's a mini bloosh. Ah! Even he couldn't handle the power of it. But you got that going on, and probably my favorite accessory is uh, he can he can Mortal Kombat somebody. There you go. You get the <laughs> you get the skull and spine, and he looks he looks so sad. Well, wouldn't you be? <laughs> I love this. And you can just put that in his hand, and he now has another trophy. For his collection. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I love that. But, probably the best thing we can do here. Let me get up close. Let me take this out. So we can get up close here. And we can remove the mask. And now we can see that he is one ugly mother. Anyway, you can see his unmasked face there. Get some tampograph details. Some nice paint work back here. And yeah, that's, that's a beautiful face right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful face. Nice screen there for the eyes. Teeth are painted in. You can move the mandibles out. They're on hinges there. And even the detail in there is painted as well. <laughs> beautiful. That's a beautiful face right there. Oh! Oh! No. There you go. You can just slide the mask back on if you want to. But <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can get the uh, the full effect there of the Predator. I like it. I like it very much. Now, height-wise, um, this figure stands at about four and a quarter inches tall. And if you just want more of a uh, sense of size here, um, here it is with a Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man. So just so you can get a sense of the size of this little guy. So, there you go. So yeah, that is uh, basically it for uh, for this mode anyway. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So let's remove all these little bits and pieces. You can give me that for now. Um, so first we need to close up his mandibles and we need to put his mask back on. And now we can transform him. We can put that off to the side for now. So what we are going to do here is we're going to start off by uh, uh we're going to start off with the backpack here so we need to remove this section here from the backpack and just put that off to the side for now uh this section is going to rotate around and then this will come down like so and then the cannon is just going to collapse down onto his back like that so you can have that collapsed up on his back if you want to if you don't want it over his shoulder you can just have it displayed like that as always it's yours display it however you wish and we can just bring his arms out. You want to bring his feet down, and then you want to bring his toes up, like that. Then rotate his feet 180, like that. You want to bring his legs all the way out, and then just bend the legs in. So he's sitting like that. Once you've done that, you want to untab the backpack and bring it down, and then you want to flip this little connecting tab in. So it is sitting like that. Once you've done that, you want to take his head, rotate it around, and then just tuck it down like so. And you got that going on. So now, oh, we need to uh, collapse up so arm blades here. So now you're going to take the shoulders and you're going to bring them up and they're going to tap into each other here in the middle. Like that. At this point, you can kind of tuck the uh, his dreads just under his arms here, just kind of get them out of the way. Just kind of Tuck it in there, make it nice and neat. So, connect those shoulders, like so. And then we are going to bring the arms in and rotate it down. You want to open up this panel here and bring this out to the side. You want to rotate the hand so it is facing like that. And just leave that panel out like so. And you're going to do pretty much the same thing here. Just bring this down. Bring this around. You want to open up this panel here. You want to bring the forearm around and then rotate the hand so it's facing in like that. 
that's how you want that oriented like so so now that we've done that we want to bring in this bit right here so what we're going to do here is we're going to just open this up and flip out this section here and in here is where we're going to store his accessories so we're going to take this bit right here and that will just plug in that slot right there like that and that's where that is going to live and what we're going to do here is this is going to just plug in here it's going to plug it into a couple spots you have a post and a port connection here and you also have this little slot here on the foot that a tab will go into as well so just kind of line things up and get everything plugged together like that and just get that section here onto the foot like so and that's how you want that living right there and once you've done that we can take the blast effect and there's a port for it right here so just plug that up in there and you want to take the skull and spine here and there's no actual place for it to like clip into the instructions just seem to say just kind of drop it in here and it'll just get held in place so i to drop that in and bring all that around and they're just doing the same thing here so this is going to come up over this section like that again just kind of plug everything in Make sure this is lined up right here as well, like that. Let's get all that plugged in, get the foot plugged in the way it's supposed to be, like that. Oops, get that straightened out so I can sit the way it's supposed to. Like so, and this just kind of gets tucked up in here like that and these little flaps here there are tabs for them you secure onto like that and then we take this little uh this little first aid kit here and there are two ports for it move this out of the way two ports for it right here that to plug into and you just take this and it will just Plug in right there and I'll fill in that gap. Like so. Get it all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Predator in his box mold. There you go. There he is, all tucked up into a box. And I really like how all the accessories get uh, stored in the box as well but yeah there he is all nice and compacted up but yeah there you go Woo! <laughs> and of course you get the box charger you can open that up lock him in there and now the predator can charge you can charge before he self-destructs <laughs> sorry anyway but that's basically it so there you go so there you have Predator, and uh, yeah, another cool figure here from 5-2 Toys. Um, he's just adorable, just absolutely adorable. Love the way he looks, um, really like the accessories. Love that all the accessories can incorporate into the box mode. I think that is just very clever. And again, just love seeing how many characters, how many monsters, beasts, whatever you can get out of the same basic shape. Again, this is really impressive and mind-boggling to me. But yeah, these things are fun. They're really fun in my opinion, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Mega Box figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Mega Box Beast Box playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out Endgames. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the 5-2 Toys Mega Box Predator. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Boom in your face!